Good evening, traders, and welcome to the FNO show with Berries. Well, compared to yesterday, markets were a lot more tame today. Uh, even if we look at Nifty uh, Bank Index, as you can see on the screen, uh, after a small up move and a large wick on the upside near forty-three thousand three hundred levels, uh, from there, Bank Nifty pretty much uh, corrected all the way down to forty-three thousand. So uh, roughly three hundred uh, to two fifty to three hundred points intraday fall. Uh, from the top in bank nifty but uh, it was a largely slow move so there was not much uh, problem in terms of option pricings and so on yeah. wix also kept uh, kept falling today wix closed down by about 1 percentage points i think that must have aided in uh, option prices not spiking much so uh, there are a couple of setups here so i think shitesh must have taken a trade yeah. shitesh today today i I would like a back to differ a little as I have put managed to get around. I did book that much, but the option price did move around hundred point, and that that shows that now there is some momentum happening. And for me, as as I could see this lower highs happening, I was pretty ready to get onto the trade. And this is the exact entry where I I entered uh, a forty three thousand PE only, I guess, yeah. And it, pretty quickly I got this fall, and I book. If I would have held the position. No doubt, I would have if made more money, but that's hindsight again. But yeah, for today, for today, I think for me, I did find some momentum in the price, at least where I entered. The setup was simple. I saw this early candle making an inverted hammer. I took the retest, and in I just was waiting and trailing it in my five-minute uh, chart, and that's that was the simple one trade that I took today, and finally some option buying positions happening. Uh, Friday and it was a Friday, so a happy weekend, I would say. Yeah. 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 That's it from my side. That is the only trade I took. Hmm. Uh, then uh, shall we go to the Nifty chart? Yeah. yeah. I For the intraday, uh, Nifty again uh, opened with a large black candle, but then recovered slowly throughout the day. Not, uh, not, yeah, pretty much. So from eighteen thousand five hundred, it came down to eighteen thousand four fifty ish, and from there again, it took resistance at the uh, open, which was the day's high, and then closed somewhere near forty eighteen thousand five hundred. So uh, that still shows that momentum continues. There might be minor position uh, winding up and so on because we are going into the weekend. Uh, but uh, overall, uh, if if I can quantify the extent of DK that was there today, the eighteen thousand five hundred at the money straddle from nine twenty uh, decayed about twenty eight points. So that is almost uh, not almost. It is exact fourteen hundred point fourteen hundred rupees profit per per lot. Yeah. I was not trading heavy today. I simply took one lot just to track the position. But yeah, the DK was huge on the intraday basis. So uh, we continue to remain in a low uh, low premium environment at least uh, for Nifty. Yes. Though uh, uh, option buyers like Shitesh may once in a while uh, be able to capture yeah. uh, a good good spike in uh, option premiums on one side or the other. Uh, and uh, Bank Nifty actually I should have mentioned. I also took a positional trade. Uh, I know I, I had said I won't be much interested in positional trades, but the levels are really working out well here. So that is why I entered. I I am interested in Bank Nifty staying between forty three thousand and forty three thousand three hundred here. Okay. So uh, somewhere yeah, somewhere uh, near the day high of today, yeah. and uh, forty three thousand because even on yesterday's expiry forty three thousand. Was written very heavily, so I'm uh, considering that as a good support for for short term. Yeah. So I will uh, keep on trading. Uh, I will hold this position. I will trail the uh, uh, stop uh, my profit. And if if there is a large move and if the premiums are attractive enough to make adjustments, I will uh, do that. And another trade which uh, I uh, I had very specifically said that I won't take, but the liquidity was there and the levels were there and the market was uh, moving as expected uh, was in reliance actually so uh, reliance uh, in our after our show also we mentioned that uh, it looks like it is in the uptrend and it is uh, ready to keep yeah. moving up yeah. so it it is not an aggressive trade so i did not buy or sell anything uh, uh, to the tune of naked put or naked call 
uh, I I sold 2500 2, put, which uh, as you can see already is 100 point away from where the market is. And I bought 2480 put for DH. So I think I require just little over uh, 25,000. Yeah, 27,000 uh, rupees of margin here. Yeah. Small profit, only 800 rupees profit, but uh, this looks like a very safe trade to me. So uh, that is why I have deployed one lot of capital here. And I will keep tracking this and any other positions that may unfold as the as the month progresses. Uh, USD INR might be uh, looking to continue its up move again if we see on uh, Forex here. Yeah. It's uh, that India, yeah. Yeah, on a on a yeah on a weekly time frame, it has made an inverted hammer. But yeah. if we go to daily time frame, there is a rounding top and then again a hammer on the daily. Yeah. So it's, it's very FX can move right now. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is. But, but it has a, it has taken first at least a first resistance from the eighty two level that uh, we had mentioned yes. Yes. many many moons ago. Yes. So we can. Uh, I will keep tracking this. I am not interested in selling any options just yet. We will wait and watch how this this goes. Yeah, but the supply here, like I would short because this is a resistance level. Until this is not broken, the structure is to, uh, to take as resistance. Nowadays, the markets have. So this is something I would like to talk. Like hammers have become. I think as a lot of people talk about it, it, it is just that now the hedge funds or the big players know. Now this is something. Which they're making three hammers here. Now you are going to be really confused, right? Like, what do you do here? So that is when you need to have the market structure context, right? Where you should know, like, structurally, this is somewhere, like, this is a selling zone. So just look for hammers which give you that confirmation. This this can be a fake out. This is just like, oh, it's turning. No, it's not. It might just continue down towards this zone. So till the time this zone doesn't break, just don't use hammers anywhere. <laughs> That is what I say. You yeah. should have a market structure. For me today, I went short on a bank on Bank Nifty even when the whole market is was like supposed to rally is because I found a hammer on the top. So it, it is a supply. So that's how like uh, having a market structure context, you should know. That is why I, ha I have a habit of zooming out. This is very important. The more you zoom out, the more you will see. Peep. If you keep your charts like this, it's going to be very difficult. <laughs> you need to zoom out as much as you can. Yeah. So it's something that just came up to my mind. Sorry, Gandhar, please continue. No, it is. It was actually very apt because uh, in the markets like USD INR, where it is traded across across multiple exchanges and the prices and the ticks and the wicks and candle formations don't always sync up. Yeah. In that case, I think you really need to draw your <coughs> levels with a crayon instead of a pencil and just have a deep, very deep stop losses. I mean, uh, Simply uh, 10 paisa, 20 paisa stop losses won't cut cut it in yeah. this uh, this kind of environment. So if if someone is con even thinking of trading USD INR, just make sure you keep really big stop losses and be very sure of the kind of system you are trading. Backtest extensively. Most of the FX uh, traders trading in small accounts that I have seen uh, do backtests for five years, six years, seven years, and then they deploy their strategy. So. Uh, as simple as it looks, it is a really difficult market to yeah. uh, trade and as easy it is as to make money, it is just as easy to lose money in FX if you uh, take some wrong positions. Yeah. Because mind you, this market also moves on central bank uh, movements, uh, inflation data, interest rates, bond markets and n number of macroeconomic factors that uh, you and me as uh, uh, equity traders don't usually track. Yeah. Yeah. So that's just... a. Uh, uh, Con to continue your thought, actually, uh, what people should uh, consider yes, when, yes. whenever uh, they are trying to venture into any new market. In fact, not just USD INR. If someone's going into trading crude or natural gas or something, same thing applies. Just keep scrolling back. That is that is the I think the <laughs> title for the video today. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's 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 very apt, actually. Yeah. All right. I think from next week again my. Uh, expiry or intraday option selling trades will yeah. continue yeah so of course our viewers will be updated for it sensible has released verified pnl screenshot yeah. uh, feature so <laughs> the whole twitter is uh, going gaga about it now oh yeah fintweet has never been this entertaining let me tell you yeah 
Yeah, we'll add it. We'll put it in the like if people do want to watch it, just share, we'll share the link. It's it's fun. It's the big boss of stock market, I would say. Yeah, yeah, it is. I, it's it's more entertaining than big boss actually. Yeah, it is. It is. <laughs> <laughs> because we relate more to these traders than the celebrities that go to big boss. True, true, true that. But yeah, there was an instance of uh, someone putting an order of thousand lots of thousand quantity of bank nifty, where freeze quantity for bank nifty was nine hundred. So, <laughs> yeah. so you need to be smart to cheat, uh, yeah. which many people tend to forget. And it well, just takes one that. small mistake for people to catch on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we will share some links on our Telegram uh, group. Yeah, if people can join us there. Uh, the link will be in the video description of course join us there and uh, join now is the weekend you can catch up on a lot of drama in the indian pin tweet actually yes. yeah i think yeah that's it let's wrap it up thank you guys for tuning yeah. in please do subscribe to our youtube channel like comment subscribe uh, like comment yeah uh, please join our telegram channel please join our instagram channel visit our website berries.in and just feel free to comment yeah guys we would like to know from you guys also how's your trading journey been or anything that you want to talk about finance please please do comment thank you for watching have a great one